Yeah, guys, hey, welcome back to the channel once again. And you know, Right to Dream Academy has continued to produce one of the best players or continue to put the best players in African continent. Okay, so you know, uh, Kudus Mohammed is a product of Right to Dream Academy. Yes, and uh, Adinga, you know, Adinga, who has had no idea or Marvin Kosvoji have gone. Yeah, Adinga is also Right to Dream Academy boy. Okay. So all these guys are uh, right to dream boys and uh, they are doing fantastically well for uh, their clubs and also for themselves. Okay, so uh, no, I'll be telling you about Ibrahim Osman, one of the young talent coming up and uh, he has been signed by that is uh, Brighton Hope Fabio, maybe that is when everything is done. I'll be sharing that with you. Let's be telling you about the Europa League. Yes, the league. Uh, Europa League, uh, my drone. So I'll tell you about Kudus Mohamed, uh, the team he will be facing. I'll be telling you about Liverpool, and also we'll tell you about other kind of players who are in the Europa League and uh, what is going on with them. So, you know, the quest for the new Blasters head coach is still on. And don't forget that Ghana, we are having a big match to play June, okay? June 10th, Ghana is playing against Mali FIFA World Cup 2026. FIFA World Cup, Ghana, any Mali neighbor. One of the qualifiers, you know, or Bamako, a big, 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 big match. Then, uh, seven days later, we play against uh, Child, yeah, in Kumasi. Are they going to play in Kumasi? Maybe Takwa. I think Barak and Takwa Stadium will be ready, so maybe they will go to Takwa and play. But as I stands now, we don't know where the Blasters will play the next whole match. Okay, but probably might be in Takwa or it will be in Kumasi. Okay. So these are the big matches that you have, but currently we don't have a coach, substantive head coach. We don't have any uh, critical coach because after the Afcon, uh, Chris Hilton was signed by Ghana Football Association, and uh, they gave us a timeline that they are going to find a new coach. And the day they gave it to us, uh, they gave us three weeks. Now three weeks, and I see as a guy okay. I overtake him. Okay, so. We are still waiting, but for uh, the information that we've gathered, uh, we know that they're saying that all those who qualify, uh, that those who send their CVs uh, to be considered as the next blasters coach, you know, almost on the cross over 600, and all, all these over 600, you know, none of them qualify. So now they are doing uh, head hunt, okay? So they, they, they look at the coach that feel that they think that it will be, uh, he will be the best person to the job or for the job, then they call you, they interview, and they, if they find that you are good, then they give it to you. Okay, so uh, from what we know, they said that Otuado is leading that race. Okay, I said Otuado is the one who is leading. They they were appointed Otuado to be the next Blasters head coach. But as a staff, let's wait and see if Otuado will be named or not. But as we are waiting for that one, we will still continue and keep our fingers crossed and see how things will go for, for us in that very aspect the blasters uh, job because we have the World Cup. The World Cup in Italy is the most important World Cup ever. US, Canada and Mexico, these three countries are combining to host and everyone wants to go to this World Cup. Okay. So uh, before I go into the story, I'll tell you about him, uh, this video TV, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, uh, share this very video to your friends, uh, like, comment and also importantly uh, let me know what you think. You're on Facebook is Bailu TV, you're on Instagram is Bailu TV, you're on TikTok is Bailu TV 6, and Twitter is Bailu News TV. Okay, so now let's talk about uh, Europa League, okay, the draw, then from there we talk about Ibrahim Osman, who has signed for Brighton and Hof Abiel. Okay, so uh, Europa League, so this is how the draw looks like, okay, so Europa League, we Liverpool, we're going to play against uh, Spakta. Okay, it's a big game, big game, big game. That very, very big game that we have. Okay, so that is for uh, that one. And I'll be telling you my, 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 you know, my view, those who I think that they will be uh, qualified from the group. So okay, I'll be sharing that with you. Okay, so I you know uh, Karabakh will play against Bayer Vakunsi. Yes, Bayer Vakunsi. Yeah, the Alonso's uh, team. Okay, they will be playing against them. Uh, then from there we have uh, AC Milan also playing again uh, Silva Praha, okay, AC Milan, 
Mughalian Seva Praha called a very big game. We have that one too. Then from there, we have Sporting CP playing against Atalanta, Bergamo, Atalanta. Okay, then uh, Lukman, Nigeria guy, is uh, also the Adimola Lukman is there. Then uh, Frank Berg who play against West Ham United. Kudus Mohamed going to Germany uh, on the first league before they return home. So Kudus will go away first, then he will return. Okay, so that is it. Then also we have Benfica also be playing against Rangers. This, this is not a new Rangers in Nigeria. This is Rangers, okay? So Scotland Rangers, okay? So that's a Benfica who play against Rangers, okay. Then we move on. We have Brighton and Hove for Abium who we'll play against uh, former, uh, that's a uh, Molino's team, the AS Roma, okay. So Brighton will go away first, then they will be playing uh, League, the later, the League 2 as the second round, rather. They will, they will play home to Roma, okay. So Adinga will, will, will come in bigger. Then Marseille will play against Villarreal, yeah. Marseille also will play home. First, then Liverpool, as I said, Liverpool play against uh, Sparta uh, uh, Bra. Okay, yeah. So that is a big uh, game that we have. So these are the uh, so these are the uh, the round sixteen for the Europa League. Okay, so uh, let's see how things will go. But I think the teams I feel that they will uh, qualify from this group. No. Uh, maybe I'll share I'll share that I'll share that with you uh, later on. But today, let me sh uh, first of all let me talk about uh, Ibrahim. Okay, Ibrahim. Let me talk about Ibrahim. Uh, let's say Osman. Okay, so Brighton Hove uh you know, later signing Osman Ibrahim has provided insight to his decision uh, joining the English Premier League side. Okay, from FC Nordland. Okay, so the talented 19 year old. Ghanaian winger uh, signed five-year contract with Premier League club. Okay, with the transfer fee reported around that's a 16 uh, million euros. Yeah, 16 million euros. That's around that. that, 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 that big money, though not officially disclosed by Brighton. Okay, so Osman, a graduate uh, of Right to Dream Academy, spoke about choosing Brighton over other clubs, citing the team's style of play as a pivotal factor okay so we're saying that he chose that's a brighton because of how they play okay he says that Tali, for brighton if you go there and you perform you get opportunity to play not like other teams if you are performing no more better than benches are actually to him no no not like that he said that brighton if you are performing you play if you don't then you see Okay, so this one is only because I choose Brighton because of the star of play. When you perform at Brighton, you get to a that's why I choose uh, Brighton. Okay, so that's what he continues to that uh, he's young and an exciting prospect, but for now, it is important that we give him the space to focus fully on Norgina where he is uh, enjoying a season. So that is the technical director for Brighton and Hove, and that's what he also said concerning. Osman, uh, there. okay. So he's saying that Osman, Osman is saying that Charlie, uh, um, maybe choose Brighton because Brighton, the Oban, oh, yeah, yeah, double, oh, yeah, they are better bench. Okay, so we have uh, a Ghanaian, okay, we have three Ghanaians there. One is having the uh, you know, Ghanaian descent in him, but that is, uh, you know, a company friend, Wobek, okay, then Wobek is a uh, half Ghanaian, half a uh, Brun UK, but as then we have. Uh, Terry Lamde is uh, also the fully Ghanaian, and also we have we are going to get Osman also to join them at Brian Hofabio. So, this is kind of the update from this young chap uh, joining this Premier League. He will be joining them uh, in June, okay, that's after this season has come to an end. So, guys, this is it. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, select all, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're on Facebook, it's Baby TV, here on Instagram, Baby TV, or TikTok, it's Baby TV 6, and also we are on Twitter, it's Baby News TV. So let's meet another time. Bye bye for now.